This is the Unit 4 seminar on problem solving, and most of this unit involves translating word statements or word problems into algebra. And to solve for the information or the unknowns in the problem, we are going to have to use the skills we learned in Unit 3, particularly substitution and elimination. So before you tackle any problem in this unit guide, I want you to ask um, yourself the following questions and follow the steps. What information am I asked to find? What information am I given? And although it's not required, it really helps to organize the last two pieces of information into a table so that you can then translate um, the word problems into algebra and solve. Okay, so we can start. For the first problem, find two numbers such that their sum divided by 4 is equal to 14, and the greater number increased by 24 equals 3 times the smaller number. So whenever you have unknowns, we are going to let x and y represent certain pieces of information pertaining to the unknown. So the x is going to represent the larger number, while y is going to represent the smaller number. And we're going to translate each statement into algebra. So whenever we see the word sum, sum refers to addition. So for my equation number one, their sum, that would be x plus y, divided by 4 is going to be equal to 14. That's my equation number one. And equation number two, the greater number increased by 24. So if the greater number is x, larger number, increased by 24 is going to equal three times the smaller number. Now, in addition to rearranging the equation, we also have to get rid of the fraction for equation number one. And we can do so by multiplying both sides of the equation, the left-hand side and the right-hand side, by four, just so we can eliminate the denominator of four. And we do that, when we do that, the 4 in the denominator disappears, so all we're left with for equation number 1 is x plus y. And for equation number 2, 14 times 4 is 56. So that's my new equation number 1. For equation number 2, we can just rearrange the variables move the 3y over, so I now have x minus 3y, move all the letters to one side, and if we move the 24 over, it becomes negative 24. So now we can solve these two equations using elimination, because I have an x and an x, so by subtracting those two equations, we can quickly eliminate And let's move to another slide so we have more room. So to continue, I have my x and my y terms, and my equation number one, equation number two. I'm going to eliminate the x by subtracting, since both the x terms have the same sign. And when I subtract both equations, x minus x is going to be 0. Oops. See what's going on here. x minus x is 0. Positive y minus negative 3y. And I want to write everything out so that I don't confuse the two signs that are next to each other. Is equal to 56 minus negative 24. I have to pay special attention to the two signs that have to be multiplied together. So y 
minus negative 3y is the same as saying y plus 3y is going to be equal to 56 plus 24. And when we solve that, 4y is equal to 80. And to isolate the y, we're going to divide both sides by 4. So y is equal to 20. So remember, y represents the smaller number. Y represents the smaller number. Now, we can use that information to solve for x by substituting y is equal to 20 into either equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter. I'm going to pick equation number 1. So equation number 1, x plus y is equal to 56. However, I know the value of y is equal to 20, so I'm now solving for the larger number. x plus 20 is equal to 56. So x is going to be equal to 56 to bring the positive 20 over to the other side. It's going to be minus 20. So x is going to be equal to 36, which makes sense because x is now the larger number. So using algebra and elimination, we have solved for the value of x and y for this particular word problem.